Good evening, everyone. Everyone, thank you for this opportunity and privilege to speak to you at this wonderful celebration. I know some of you may be thinking right now, that is not a funny guy. <laughs> and this is true. <laughs> Earlier this week, I was planning to give a speech full of jokes until Reverend Tedrick sent the list of the speakers, and I saw Alan, Alan Giles name was there. <laughs> I thought to myself, they will have enough jokes. <laughs> it didn't disappoint me, Alan. <laughs> but now seriously, uh, during my time, time here at Westminster, I found two, two of the things that changed my life and the life of my family forever. The first thing was education. I was born in a very poor family in northern Brazil, in the Amazon area. And even before I was born, my father had put in his mind that the only way out of poverty was through education. And he and my mother made many sacrifices to send us to college to have the education they, they didn't have. But the second and more important thing that changed our lives was when I was a little boy and my father found the Reformed faith. He had been a good Roman Catholic, which may sound an indifferent thing to many of you. But at that place, Roman Catholicism was, and it still is, just a religion full of superstition and idolatry. And by a wonderful providence, my father began to read his Bible. And then he realized his religion wasn't biblical Christianity, Christianity at all. Of all places, he decided to join the small Presbyterian church of our city. And when I reflect on his conversion, I can see that secular education can illumine minds and change lives. But it can't give spiritual illumination to salvation. So when my father met the doctrines of grace, it was truly uh, post-tenebrous looks, you know, after darkness, light event for him and for all of us. And so I was happy that I found here these two things that changed my life forever. I found outstanding education. I studied here with professors I deeply admire, who are my, my references of scholars. It was very challenging, I, I admit, to study in a different language without having any previous formal education in English. For me, it was a time to listen more than speaking, a time to learn with the wisdom of people who are not only scholars, but also godly man. But I was even happier to find out here, in, in this sense, the same old doctrines of grace that I learned from my parents so long ago. The same doctrines such as the doctrine of justification by faith alone, which gave to my dad and my mom so much comfort in the many trials and tribulations of, of life. So I feel gratitude to be part of this wonderful community of students who is represented here in this class of 2020. To be a part of this community, living in, in, in this village we have here was an immense privilege for me. I made friends here who I'm taking with me in my heart. Now I'm going back to my country and I'm taking with me great memories of this institution. I have a special thanks to the administration which was so generous to me and, and my family. Thank you for uh, your support during these three years. I could not make without you. I could not certainly make without my wife who is here tonight, Ilza. You have been with me through all the trials and joy of our journey here. I could not go one step farther without you. Te amo, amor. My parents who are watching me now, I, they can't understand a word of what I'm saying. So, 
<risos> Allow me to thank them. Obrigado, pai e mãe. Sem vocês, eu também não estaria aqui esta noite. And to all of you, you remain in my prayers, and I hope to honor the name of this seminary wherever the Lord in his providence guide me and my family in the future. Thank you.